Sure. And, and I think the thinking and, and, and the, the ideology behind having such a guest at this particular time in a pandemic, uh, someone who probably smells uh, just, you know, like a million bucks, uh, okay. Kim Kardashian, she just smells like a, like weighted, uh, smelly, good uh, 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 carpenter. You know, do you know what carpenter? Carpenter is that, that kind of it's a it's a Chinese uh, 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 a bead. It's a type of bead, but it's it permeates a certain smell. It's just it's just out. It's outstanding. I have to get some because I love fragrance. Tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I've never done a Zoom before? I remember someone wrote that when I did Hollywood Squares because it was right around when things were a little uh, uh, gray, if you will. And someone said, this is the final nail in Alec Baldwin's career casket. They do that, they were don't right. they? they? Well, <laughs> they were and they weren't because you did make the transition from Hollywood Squares to Match Game. And let me ask you that. Was it easier having been on Hollywood Squares and also the long, skinny microphone? You know, I love that they brought that back from the original series. Was it hard to hold that thing? It's so, so damn skinny and so long. I'm in my bathtub. Is that okay? You know, I was hoping you would be in your bathtub, but not like this. <laughs> in my evening dress that I wore to one premiere. Are you, are you okay? Everything's good? Are your yeah. chairs broken? No, I just don't have any lighting in the other place. In the rest well, of it. Thank you for coming. You know, I'm so glad that you could join me. We're going to have a fun time. I know that we will. I hope that we will. And then Ray there Combs. was the guy after him. Ray Combs. Did he drown in a pool or did he kill himself? I don't want to get into it. This is supposed to be lighthearted. He had bad breath, though. I know, God rest his soul, but he had bad and breath. And you got the gig. You got the gig next, right? That's right. Yeah. You guys ready to play the... And I wouldn't even <laughs> stick my arm out. You see what I'm doing here? I just... Just the elbow a little. <laughs> You ready to play them? Because it's just like. Can you please after a say while, the whole thing? You Stop. guys ready to play the feud? <laughs> and there's anger in that too when I when I say. There's that no I way to not be angry after a while doing two tapings a fucking day, having to listen to those goddamn answers. Um, could you please put your hand on top? Of That's you. That's what you do. That's how you sound. You sound like an asshole. You sound like a real bitch, sir. Could you please put your flapper dogs back on side your rodeo cake and saddle it up so I can go off to the room? <laughs> oh, shit, the fish again. That fucking fish again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and you spit up all over the place. I just saw like a baby. Oh. Like a baby that just pulled its mouth off its mother's teat and all the milk saliva was drooling out. That's what you just did. That's what you look like. So that makes you a baby backwards, tit sucking, bubble blowing, midnight meatball, sweet and sour garlic bread, caramel corn, twat kicker. Period. Bitch. Biosh. You want to play another game? Let's do another game. All right. Let's play a game. It's called uh, I Make a Funny Face, You Make a Funny Face. Okay. So I'm going to make a funny face. Right. And I'm going to hold it. And then you, then you make a funny face. And then you hold it. And then, and then I'll, you know what I mean? Back and forth. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> you look like a fire hydrant, man. <laughs> You look like a fire hydrant. That's the coolest thing in the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> so cool. Do you have any movie posters? Greta Thunberg for the hour. I assume it's been an hour. That's how long it's felt. Go back to school. Good day to you, sir. I don't even know your name. I didn't bother to learn it. My name is David Attenborough. I've forgotten it already. David Attenborough. I forgot it again. David Attenborough. No. Oh, you little bitch. How did you research to play that role? Did you watch Mrs. Doubtfire? And did that help you? No, the Tootsie came up. 
all right, this is just, this isn't, no, Tootsie came out in the 80s. Oh, okay. Macho right. women, ugly, ugly women, and macho, macho shit in. Those, those are the ones. No, and that's, <clears throat> and that's, that's your woman voice? That's my woman voice. That's mm. my, my woman voice. Maybe it sounds more like a woman when you're actually in the dress. You improvise your way to the groundlings. You want to get out. You want to get anywhere. You want to get all the way to S N L. No, actually, I moved to Los Angeles to work at A and M Records to get in the record business, and um, I worked at A and M Records for five years. First in their publishing company, and then in the record company. What's your favorite soft drink? Ooh, I'm trying to, you know, be healthier. Uh, no, I want the real answer, Fred. Don't bullshit me. Maybe a, a latte. I said That's, soft drink. Why well, is that soft? It's not like, you know, with chips in it. Um, oh, soft. Like, like Coke, like pop, you know, 7-Up. Yeah. I really enjoy 7-Up. It leaves no aftertaste. I like the clear look. It's really good. The lemon and lime is just right, especially after salmon or steak. Maybe Have you ever I knocked on the door of someone you don't know? Um, I get yeah, sure. Okay, and this is the follow-up question: Are you a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> Do you know a Jehovah's Witness? Have you ever met a Jehovah's Witness? Is there anything you'd like to plug or mention? Or talk about? Um, well, I have a podcast with my husband called "My Wife Hates Me." And I came up with that title, and uh, he he agreed. He was like, "You're right. You do hate me, so let's do it." So which 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 room are we in right now? If, if you place, you want to show us where? Show oh us my god, this is tour? our dining room, which my husband has decorated. He loves, as you, I don't know if you can see. This looks like a Renaissance. Yeah, he uh, loves this kind of painting, and it's the Baroque era, perhaps. It's uh, too much. I don't know. He's like covered in tattoos, and yet this is his. You know, I've actually got a couple myself that I haven't shown to the public, but yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Kind, it's I have a weird. toaster. I have a toaster oven uh, tattooed on my ass. <laughs> it's I not important. It. It's a long story and I don't want to get into it. <laughs> How do you know she had a dream? She told me. She said, Dr. Phil, I had the funniest dream is about John Lovitz bumping into me during a basketball game. I said, I did that. I did that. It was a tennis match. Yeah. At UCLA. She didn't say that. You're oh, Come hey, on. Fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you. Excuse yeah, me? that's right. Yeah. Why don't you go fuck yourself, man? Yeah. You got any social media you want to plug? Why don't you go sit on a pile of beef and shove it up your ass? Why don't you do that, doctor? 